All right, what up, Mother Truckers? BP Hero back at you. And today, we're working with the Damn, 2023 okay. Proton Series 2 two-piece model. Big thanks to Angel Harris for getting this to us so we could check it out on this humongous baseball field here in Boonville, Missouri. This is like one of the biggest fields I think I've ever hit on. 320 down the line, and then really quick, it gets out to 330, uh, maybe maybe 20 feet past the pole. It's 345 in the gaps and 380 in center. So we're just going to use our imagination on what 300 feet looks like today. <laughs> we all know what a well-hit ball looks like. We know what something that's going to be at uh, 300 feet plus looks like. So that's that's the best we could do today. The, it's We've been getting a lot of rain and stuff around the area, and this was our only dry option. Probably was going to be for a few days. We needed to get this stuff out, so uh, this is what we had to do. It's about an 85-degree day. No wind. The day I need wind at my back. Of course, we don't have any. <laughs> Uh, hitting a mix of balls here, Evil 52 300 game balls and BP 52 pluses, BP Rockets, Deadly Thunder Z and Pro-Ams, and there's some 44 400s mixed in here as well, knowing that the Protons were uh, known to be a little suspect when they first started dropping. We wanted to uh, just kind of hit a mix here just to make sure we weren't going to get ourselves in any trouble with any paint issues or seam issues or anything like that. What was the reason we decided to uh, basically do like a 50-50 mix of hard stuff and 52s? This bat did have about 25 swings on it by Angel before he sent it to us. It is a 26 ounce and is inloaded with a half ounce and it does feel true to weight. It is a two piece bat with a composite handle. These do come in stiff and standard handle. This one is a standard handle. And as far as the handle feel goes, it's pretty blah, I'm not gonna lie. It didn't have any like whippy or wobbly feedback, but if you missed out towards the end, you'd swear you in kept a ball so bad that you hit a cue shot but the ball would still go like you hit the middle of the barrel. It was a very weird feel. The barrel on this was 12.75 inches. And as long as you lived on the middle of the barrel to get away from the weird feedback I mentioned with the handle, then the barrel felt great. Performance was top tier and the feedback and sound were also really good. You just had to focus almost too much on living in the middle of the barrel. And speaking of barrels, uh, let's talk about this compression here real quick. So Angel got 25 swings on this before he sent it to us. And I threw it on the tester right before we hit on this round, and it's already failing compression. Even after Proton advertises on their website that they will come in at 275 when they're new. I can't imagine that um, it would drop that fast, especially since they also advertise that 250 compression uh, is where they get when they break in and they stay there for a long time. Now, I will say that the one-piece model that we did review did do what he's advertising, but this one, for whatever reason, uh, did not. Maybe just something worth mentioning there that... Uh, was interesting to see, but uh, we've I've gave my thoughts on uh, compression and why it matters and who should who it should matter for. Uh, we're we're just using it as a gauge of uh, break in and that kind of thing, honestly. So as far as like some overall thoughts on this thing, I have heard a lot of good things about this bat, and after hitting the One Piece series two, I was excited to see what this thing was about, and it didn't let us down from a performance perspective. I genuinely wish we weren't hitting at the damn polo grounds for this review because we all hit some pretty dang good balls with this thing. Performance was top tier for sure, and the barrel was super forgiving, as long as you could get past that kind of funky handle thing. The loading was even good, especially relative to the barrel size. Everything about the thing was straight up jamming. You just kind of had to get past the handle issue. You can see some of the negative reactions in some of my swings as we progressed through this thing. And it was just me thinking I was melting down and starting to just fall apart and not hit the ball well for whatever reason until I actually paid attention and realized that balls are still roaring off of this thing, even when I felt like I had got more in cap than I had barrel. It was a very <laughs> weird feeling from a bat that I haven't experienced in a good long while. But if you live in the middle of the sweet spot, this thing is going to be a good choice for you for you triple SA play. Or like I mentioned, you could also go up to a stiffer handle because that's probably what I would do. Now, I will say that I personally would go with the one piece model of the series two, but if you got to have a two piece, I'd definitely suggest trying to find one with a stiffer handle, with a stiff handle and swing away with that thing and you'll have yourself a good performing bat for sure. Big thanks to Angel for sending this out. Thanks to Micaiah and Brian for coming out and hitting on this turf with us at the polo grounds here. Thanks to you guys for stopping in and checking out the video. Swing hard in case you hit it. BP Hero catch you next time. Let it get deep, he said. That didn't even feel good.
I'm a big bitch. <laughs>